Hi everyone and welcome to Easy Trading Computers. This is our quick tip video series. In each of these videos, I will show you step by step how to perform configurations and customizations to save you time at your trading computer. In this video, I want to show you how to use Windows AeroSnap. Windows AeroSnap allows you to snap an active window to an area of your screen. And this is a hidden productivity hack or a little tool that can make you more productive. Now I have a, an easy trading computer with four monitors connected to it. For today, I'm just gonna use one monitor for this demonstration and I'm gonna use Windows 7. It works on many other versions of Windows as well. What I wanna do is be able to, first of all, maximize a, an active window so that it is full screen mode and I wanna exit out of that full screen mode. The other thing is I wanna organize my desktop in the case where it gets kind of messy with lots of different windows open. And thirdly, I might want to just go to focus mode. So I'm going to show you how to use Windows AeroSnap to organize your desktop and get focused. So the first thing is that I want to tell you about is you can hold down your mouse, click on the title bar, hold it down, and drag this window around, just like this. Now if I drag the window up to the top of my monitor, I'll get kind of a pulsate icon or graphic, an animation, and it goes to full screen mode. So that's tremendous. Now if I want to go out of full screen mode, and this is, allows me to just focus on one thing at a time or dedicate one of my multiple monitors to a given active application window. So now I can go out of focus mode and go back to this multi-window environment on my one monitor just by pulling it away from the top of the monitor. See how easy that is? So I can go into focus mode, I can get focused. Now, why would you want to do this? Maybe you're writing an app, writing in a document such as Word or Microsoft Word or OpenOffice and you want to get focused. Just drag it to the top and now all your other windows go away. You won't see your instant messenger, you won't see your email, your social media, even Bloomberg TV has now disappeared and I can just focus on writing. If I want to go back to the multi-screen environment, then I just drag down. Now there's another way of exiting out that that's kind of neat. You don't even have to leave your keyboard. If you were typing away and you said, well, I'm done with focus mode, I want to go back to seeing all my windows on my desktop, I'm going to click two keys left of my space bar, and I'm going to click the down arrow on my keyboard. See how I did that? So I go up arrow, goes to full screen mode, down arrow goes back to the multi-screen mode. Another thing is I can click the Windows key, which is two keys left of the space bar, and down arrow again, both at the same time, and now I've minimized my window into the taskbar. That's very cool. Now there's another thing you can do using your keystrokes or sort of these uh, keyboard shortcuts, which is again, going two keys left of my space bar, the window key, and then I'm gonna hit, while holding the Windows key, I'm gonna hit I'm going to hit the left arrow. And when I do that once, it snaps to the left. When I do that twice, it snaps to the opposite side. When I do that one more time, in other words, three times, it snaps to the middle. Now it remembers, Windows Arrow Snap remembers the size of my middle screen, also the position on the screen. You see how I've minimized it down to the bottom? That's just because in that middle state or that third click it remembers where I put it so I can even snap up here see it remembers now I'm gonna maybe just make this a little smaller just for demonstration right it remembers all that so that's kinda cool but now I want to get real organized so I want that web browser to be on the left I want Bloomberg to be on the left and I want my easy trading computer website to be on the right and you can see now I've got it split down the middle so that's real helpful and using the Windows arrow key and left is all I did to organize that. So I clicked on one of the windows, clicked Windows arrow key, and left. Click on one of the windows in the title bar, Windows arrow key, and left key. Very cool. Now if I want to minimize it, I'm just going to click the Windows arrow key and down. I'm going to click on the window, the title bar, and down. Now one more time, I can drag this put in full screen mode. Very cool. Now, some of you may be saying, actually, that's come up for me before on Windows, and I don't like it, and I want to turn it off. How do you do that? How do you turn off Windows Arrow Snap? Click on the Start menu, then click on Control Panel, open that up, navigate over to the right side where it says Ease of Access. Again, I'm doing this, performing this demo on Windows 7. 
Then you're going to click Change How Your Mouse Works. And we're going to click on Change How Your Mouse Works. And then we're going to click Make the Mouse Easier to Use. And then we're going to click a little uh, down the page, almost to the bottom. It says Prevent Windows from Being Automatically Arranged when moving to the edge of the screen. So I'm going to click Apply, OK. And now what you'll see is I don't have that functionality before anymore. I'd have to use the minimize function or the minimize button next to the red X in any given Windows or application screen. Now I can turn it back on, just repeating those steps. So I'll start from the beginning. I go to Start Menu. Then I go to Control Panel, open that up. I'm going to go to Ease of Use. Then I'm going to change how mouse works. And I'm going to turn on Prevent Windows. I don't want to prevent, but I want to enable Windows from being automatically ar arranged when I move to the edge of the screen. Click Apply and click OK. And now we're back in business with Windows AeroSnap. I hope this quick tip helped you today. Thanks for watching this video at Easy Trading Computers, and we'll see you next time.